desecrated icons, charred prayer books, fallen crosses. The ruins of St. Michael's Church, a black omen of Egypt's sectarian strife. Caretaker Ridder Gerges ran for his life when he saw what he says was a thousand strong mob of Islamist thugs hell bent on destruction. I feel sadness to see my home like this. I was crying uncontrollably. It was a terrifying scene watching it burn. There was nothing I could do, he says. Amateur video posted on YouTube, which CNN cannot independently verify, appears to show the moment men smash across over the entrance with a sledgehammer. Other clips show the inferno taking hold in the raid 10 days ago. Gerges can't say for sure if the attackers were Muslim Brotherhood, the power base of deposed President Mohamed Morsi, or jihadi extremists, but he clearly remembers their weapons. <laughs> They had knives, Molotov cocktails, petrol bombs, sticks and iron bars, he says. Just one Christian family lives in this alley that leads to this church on the outskirts of Cairo, but no one recalls a single religious problem. Christian tailor Nadi Fanous says his Muslim neighbors protected him while the church went up in flames. Now our daily life has changed. People are living in fear. We Christians are afraid of trouble. We don't want any problems, he says. Islamist supporters of toppled President Morsi blame minority Coptic Christians for backing the July military coup. Publicly, Muslim Brotherhood leaders have condemned a wave of church attacks. Across town, Christian carpenter Fauzi al Nagar says pro Morsi protests against the coup have raised religious tensions. People would ask me to close and go home because there was a demonstration on the way and they may attack the Christians. So I would close and sit at home with my family. It's best to be together in bad times, he says. When his Muslim friends see our camera, they're keen to send a message of reconciliation. We're sad for any house of God. Nobody should touch the house of God, whether it's a church or a mosque, they say. Back in the wreckage of St. Michael's, Gerges tries to keep his spirits up. Of course there's hope. We cannot be divided. We drink the same water. We die together. We must stay together despite everything, he explains. Gerges says Egyptians must not allow political turmoil to degenerate into holy war. Karl Penhall, CNN, Kadassa, Egypt.